Hello, hello. Happy Monday, everyone. Happy Marveling Monday. We are back on track. Say hello when you pop on. Let me find this on my iPad. See if it will pop up. There it is. I found it. Hi, Eva. Hello, everyone. Okay, there we go. Yay. We did it. I made it. I survived the day at the office and um, Don't know what's going on with my Facebook here but hi Pat I survived the day at the office made it home I was able to eat and get ready hi Tammy and so here we are if you're new my name is Linda Anderson I own aqueous silk LLC I am a water marbling artist and a general crafter so um, tonight we're gonna do some fun things I haven't done in a while so keep your fingers crossed that they work um, I have some papers to do and then um, we're gonna do something fun. I have a project that I'm working on that I want to um, marble but I wasn't able to get it done this weekend so next Monday we have some, um, an experiment so it's gonna be fun I can't wait to try it out so I don't know why I didn't think of it before but I didn't until the other day so it should be fun so without further ado so I'm not on here until nine o'clock this week I can't I just can't be on that long it takes me too long to clean up and it's I have to get up at 5 a.m. so we need to get going so I'm gonna point you down and we're gonna be water marbling today if you don't know what water marbling is it's floating acrylic paint on the surface of water that's been thickened with a seaweed powder and then you can print on multitude of items. Hi, Shelly. Thank you so much. I'm happy you're here. Thank you. Thank you. Um, well, you can print on a cotton, silk, polyester, um, leather, wood, um, plastic, all kinds of stuff all kinds of stuff so let me uh, turn you down and we will get started I've already chosen the um, colors for our first project so let's get going get up close and personal I have very short arms so I have a hard time reaching over so let's see how that is oh that's pretty good right there so I'm going to say right now, if I miss your comments, I apologize. I get busy working and then I forget to touch the screen to see the, um, the comments. So the first thing I need to do is clean the surface. Oh, and you know, I was going to try wearing my earbuds today since I'm moving around and I forgot again. I've been taking my earbuds to work and putting them in at lunchtime and working on a project. And this morning I went to work without them. And so I just put them back in my purse so I didn't forget in the morning. Oh, Kathy, did you ask me that before? I meant to go back and find that comment. It just really depends. If you um, print a whole bunch in one day, you could loot your um, water could become uh, contaminated, and you'll have to, you know, get rid of it and make new. Or um, this has been like the third week I've used this, and it starts to smell. 
it's still going to work, but it starts to smell. It can be black, and as long as it's not too liquidy, and you'll notice when you use it again and again, it will become um, more liquefied. It'll be less thick than when it was first um, mixed. So it, I can't give you, the, as with everything in marbling, I can't give you a specific timeline. It just depends on how it's behaving, how much you've marbled in it before, and your weather, um, if it's been at, kept in the refrigerator, if it's been kept out. There's just tons of, of uh, variations that impact this. So we know I cannot marble without, oops, without a paper towel. So first off, we're gonna start with this very pale green instead of white. Come on. Just one drip at a time on the water. Hi, Diana, how are you? Happy Marbling Monday, everyone. All right, come on. I've told myself this week that I am going to prep one item to list on my Etsy shop every night. So we'll see if I can actually do that. It'll be hard tonight because of the cleanup. This doesn't want to drip very well. I've got quite a bit in here, so it's probably okay. But look at that. It's not even hardly coming out. So we're going to call it good for that color. And I use that in place of my white. So now we're putting down some dark green. And a bright yellow. And then a nice soft yellow. Ooh, okay. Now look at that. Take over the place. That will not do. So I wonder, this is typical when I have not appropriately labeled this bottle, if I'm mixing paints. So if this green does not float on that yellow, I will know it's the other paint. Yeah, and it does not, it floats, but look, it's sinking. Can you see the rings there? It's sinking. So this yellow, is the other brand of paint. So let me get a band on it right now. I have these little hair ties that I put around the neck of the bottle. I'll show you when I get this on here. That helps me distinguish the different brands. So it should look like that. Doesn't matter what color the band is. All right, so I will start again. Let's clean this up. And we'll start over. I need a pen though. I know I have one here somewhere. This might work right here. I just need to open this light green, the bottle, the tip. Now I have paint all over my fingers already. I washed all of my towels that I had in here. Some of them were pretty stiff. So, okay, let me get this cleaned out. See, and some people have 
can get these two paints to work together. I have never figured that out. One more time. I had so much fun this weekend. I was I'm trying out a, a new idea that I was reading about. And so I've got that started. You know, there's drying time. And you all know what I think about drying time. All right, let's try again. So it's, uh, I've got that one underway. And has anybody here done wet felting? I am just crazy interested in that. I watched, since I didn't have my headphones, I had to use my desktop at the office. And I watched a YouTube about just a small project. And I'm just like, I really want to try that. Okay, we'll, we'll try this one. These are not the same color. So we'll add this one instead of the one that's wrong. So I've got the green in, so now we're going back to this dark green. So that was a perfect example of what happens when I um, mix the colors, the paints, mix brands. I have one green that wasn't labeled for a while and it always got me and it would just push everything out of the way and I'd have to start again. It happened once a little guy was doing a hat and I had to have him start over which he didn't mind at all because he got to play with the paint twice. Okay, I want to do just a touch more of that darker green. No bubbles, please. No bubbles. Now look, at it's not coming out. Let's say that's good. So I do have some bubbles, so I'm gonna get those, get those taken care of first. Again, if you don't get rid of the bubbles, as soon as your item touches it, it will burst and there will be a void in your design. All right. Now remember, that's a light green that I put down first. It's not white. But anyway, I am just, I really, 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 really want to uh, try that um, wet felting. You'll have to look it up. There's a lady that does a class online and she does wet felting over a ball and she makes a bag. I'm a bag lady. I love bags. And uh, sorry, I've got to concentrate. I really, really, really want to try that. It looks so fun. But I was looking at a project. It was just um, um, it depends. It just depends on the color, Kathy. You test it until you get it to an ad or not if it floats the way you want it to float. 
but she was making um, like a cell phone pouch and it was really cute. All right, so there's our design. You know, that's my very favorite one to do. All right, so let me get a paper towel. I'll need that. So this is what we're doing tonight, or we're gonna attempt it. Sometimes I don't have good success with, um, thank you, Kathy. Sometimes I don't have great success with glass and sometimes I can do it. So we'll see what today is. Okay, I'm gonna come in. And I'm only doing the stem, the base and the stem. So now I put it over. I have some, um, I have floral frogs that I have in a tray over here. And, oh, and it just fell over. See if I can not stomp. So I have the, the floral frogs that you use in fresh floral design. I have that that I set them on. And it's just like some little pins so it doesn't mess up the bottom. All right, let's do cup number two. That worked great tonight. Okay, I'll step lightly. Try not to fall. Okay, success. So I think that's so much more fun than, um, thank you. Thank you, Shelly. Thank you, Diana. Tammy, thanks. Um, I think that's more fun than a, a charm, a wine glass charm. I think you could, they're going to be different enough that you could tell your own apart from someone else's. I'm not a wine drinker, but you could put other things in there. Every now and then I will mix myself a little adult beverage and I will mix it in my, um, I have a glittered, uh, stemless wine glass and I'll mix it in there. No, I don't do that very often. I usually forget I'm half asleep on the couch and went, oh, I was going to have a drink. So there is project number one already. And I was kind of concerned when I prep my glasses, I do them very specifically, and I didn't do it quite the same way I forgot this morning. I usually put three coats of the prep on there, and I only did two this time, so I wasn't sure it was going to work. But it looks like it's fine. So that was fun. That worked. Now... Let's see, what color pattern or what colorway should I use next? Anybody have any ideas? I'm going to do uh, some paper next. There's a lot of trial and error with this, Kathy. And even after you've done it for a while, it doesn't necessarily always go smoothly. The weather conditions impact it. And um, humidity, I guess that's a weather condition, but there's all kinds of stuff that plays into this. Nobody has any um, color suggestions? Let's 
see. This is what we're gonna do. Oh, Shelly, we are on the same page, girl. That's just what I was pulling out. Let's see, where is my white? Oh, I already have it, dude. So I'm going to start with white this time. Actually, let's not. Let's start with light blue. We're going to mix it up tonight. I wasn't sure. I'm almost, this is, a, was six gallons of water. And I've used it enough times that I only had like one and maybe a third. One or one three gallon jug and a third of another. So maybe four gallons. So I wasn't sure it was going to be deep enough. I've got some green coming up right over here. See that? That's green. I did not get off the surface last time. Okay, so now let's continue with the light blue. And now we'll add the darker blue. I have one more very, well, I like all of the projects. I love um, this paper that I'm marbling is not the big um, rice paper that I had issues with, but the smaller one. And the only thing I don't like about the smaller one is the size. Come on. All of my paints don't want to cooperate tonight. Let me grab another pen. Somewhere in here, I know I have a straight pen, but I can't find it for the life of me. There we go. They always, when I poke that free, it always then bubbles. Okay, now let's try. Oh, there we go. Much nicer. Okay. And now we're going to throw in a little bit of this teal. Look how pushy teal is. And now we'll put in just a touch of white. So tell me if you prefer that I do freestyle or if I comb it again. Anybody have a thought on that? Yeah, blue's fun. Reds and pinks are always my very favorite. Red is very hard to do. Pink is easy. Freestyle? Okay, Eva. Okay, Shelly. We're doing freestyle today. On this piece, anyway. You know, I would comb the, almost all of them. So I have to do two sheets, because they're not big enough, I have to do two sheets of each colorway for the project that I want to do with these papers. And I can't fit two in this tank, but if I use the, the um, bandana tray, then I can't do the wine glass, so I had to make a choice. See, there's just not enough room for two pieces, so. All right, let me get 
это. This paper takes just fantastic. If I could just get it in a larger size, I would be so happy. So now I rinse it with just general, just regular old water. Okay, there it is rinsed. And I will go, whoop, my blue is still running. That is very unusual. Let me, let me rinse again. This is odd. The blues and the colors that I'm using right now are the easiest to marble with. I generally never have any issue with them. All right. Looks like we've got it rinsed well enough. So let me go put it on the drying rack. I'll show you once more. Thank you, Diane. I appreciate that. Look at the pretty design that's left over. That's so pretty. I know I say that with everything, but it is pretty. My wine glasses have not tipped over again, so that's good. So now we'll do another tank with the same color, so I get two. Um, Obviously, the, the pattern won't be identical because I have to do another one, but it's okay. It will work. Okay, so. Started with the light blue. Just one drop at a time so it doesn't uh, break the surface. Patience is a virtue when you're marbling. It always has you thinking. Hi, Cindy. Thank you so much. It's nice to be back on Mondays. It just didn't feel right on Thursdays. And since I'm not doing any shows this year, I may do some Saturdays or maybe sneak in a Sunday here and there doing some other, other art craft projects. Just a few drops of that and then let's do the teal. Okay, I do want a little bit more. You know, I'm not going to do that. Was well, going to do th some more blue of the dark blue, but let's just see how we end up here. Because the dark blue is what was running last time. Oh, 
and I did. Once you have some paint on the uh, surface, the rest of it cannot spread out as much. It's taking up room on the surface, so it would keep that much more um, saturated. Just don't want any great big blocks of any color. The uh, white here looks off-white in the tank. Next sheet of paper. And this paper that I'm using, it has a textured side and a full smooth side. I always prefer the textured. You can do both either. It just takes that so nicely. All right. board up here. There's sheet number two. Let me get it rinsed. All the rinsing does is take off any excess paint and any of the size that comes out of the tank with the piece. And I'm not hat, well, I am a little bit. I almost said I'm not having that blue run this time, but it is just a little bit. All right, that looks good. So here it is rinsed. It's a pretty, pretty color combination. too. So any color suggestions for the next batch? I now have a nail, a colored nail. Get the newsprint. I'm always a uh, Stealing newsprint from wherever somebody leaves a newspaper. I love snagging them when I, my boss, he sometimes takes them home after work. But if he doesn't, I try to snag them. Can you see when I pull that, it brings some up here, so I need to do it again. So we can get all of that blue out of there. pretty good and if I do see any in there like I did before I can just dab it with a paper towel I cannot touch the paper with wet hands though I can't touch anything I'm gonna marble in the area it's going to be marbled with wet hands so no color suggestions today
Hi, Wanda. How are you? Mint green, white, mint, oh, mint, green, white, and orange. Oh, that's an interesting one. Okay. I'll save what I was going to do for a minute. Put these back. I did blue already. Okay. Mint, green. Mint green, white, and orange. Orange, orange, right here. Okay, let's see how this looks. And do we want a freestyle or a comb? Back to tra tradition, white first in the tank. Can you see how it doesn't um, go all the way to the edges here sometimes? I was just reading, I'm in a group, and I was just reading about that, and I've always wondered why that is. And it's the water, as it's getting pushed, it's pushing back on the paint. And uh, so it's nothing you can really control. That's why you want to have a, a tank that's a little bit bigger than what you want to work with. Oops. So there's the white comb. Okay, there's one for comb. Here's the green. No bubbles, please. I should not have to squeeze the bottle at all. I am squeezing ever so lightly to get this to come out. And I want you to watch, see this little dot, and if you can see that one and that one. Sometimes when the paint hits the water, a little bubble will, will split off and go rolling across the top of the water. And that's what those tiny little dots are from. And I'm just getting some bubbles. Pretty good. Okay, now orange. Look at how the orange pushes that green right out of the way. Each color has its own properties and will push at its own rate. Some of them won't push very much at all, and others will. And look at this, this mint pushing that orange out of the way. Now let's see if the other colors will start pushing back. Not very much. So let's come in here with just a little bit. Gosh darn. Come on. Miss Green says, no thank you. I don't want to participate today. So we'll use orange. You want some yellow too? All right. 
there we go. Our weather, it was about 54 when I um, was driving home tonight. It's windy as all get out though. Hopefully it's not impacting the internet at all. We have satellite internet out here because there's nothing reliable that's um, available to us. I had a different satellite company before and we had had so much trouble with it. It was rarely working. You couldn't stream. So we have Starlink now and we like it. It keeps going up in price, but we really do like it. It's much more um, stable. we go. You know I can't leave it like that so we're, we will swirl it. I'll have to try to do one where I don't. Uh... It's hard in this tank. I don't have a very good uh, comb. You can't let me forget to do a second one. You know me, I'll be going 100 miles an hour and forget to do the matching piece. I love just watching those corners they curl up, and I just love it when they flatten out. Feels like watching magic for me. Look how pretty that is. Great suggestion. I'm just rinsing it right over from one tub. I get it in a, a measuring cup and then I just gently drizzle it over the paper into another bin. And you really can see that that mint green. It, I, it probably doesn't show very much on camera, but you can see it here in person. So let me go hang this one. I'm bringing it back to rinse it just a little bit more. I know this is like not very exciting part of this. I think I need to mix a new prep solution. That green was doing what the blue did and running just a little bit, so I rinsed it again.
I'm so short that it's hard for me to reach the um, the rack that I have in the bathtub to reach the back part of it so I can hang, you know, get the most amount of papers on there. I have to, I used to lean against the tub with my knees, but since I broke my leg, I'm kind of hesitant to lean on the, on the bathtub and, you know, feel the, the screws and the plate in my leg. So I try not to, but it's so hard for me to reach back there. If I had arms, it would help. As I've said before, my kids tease me about having T-Rex arms. Everything is too long in the arm for me and the leg. Let's do two more sheets of paper and then we'll move to the next fun one. Pop these bubbles. Okay. Put the others back. Did I do two? I only did one of those. Whew, I almost boo booed. Let's see. And yellow. I almost goofed. Let me just peek in here to make sure I'm right. Yeah. See what I mean? I just get going and then I forget to do both of them. And I think I, I don't know, did I use white as the base on the last one? I think I did. That's okay. They'll be close enough that it won't matter. Yeah, we're supposed to get um, warm weather later on this week, like in the 70s. That's going to be way too warm. Oh, I have the hiccups. Come on, there we go. Oh, there it is. I lost the cap and I had it in my hand. So I'm gonna put in a little bit of white right now because white was pretty pushy. Okay, now I want the orange. And the yellow. You know, what I think is so fun is you could do the same colors, put them in the same order, do the same design as I'm going to, but they'll, they will look completely different. Right? Yeah, I wish that paper was about the size of this tank. That would be ideal.
I actually sent a sample of it to another a paper company to see if they could get something uh, similar. And I never did get a response back, of course. The individual I spoke with said, yeah, send us a sample and then we can uh, see if we can find something. And they didn't write back and say, oh, no, we don't have anything similar or anything. I didn't hear anything at all. Kind of annoying. All right, here we go. So my big challenge with this is to um, keep all the pins in the water and not drag the board. Okay, so now we're going to make some swirlies. That was a weird one, but it turned out okay. All right, now the next piece of paper. See, watch those corners. They just gradually go down all by themselves. Let's see what this sheet looks like. <laughs> pretty. Very pretty. going to make sure to rinse this very well. Okay, there it is rinsed. And this in here, this is all the light green. There is some white right in here, but this is all these spots right here are light green or the mint green. All right, let me go hang it up. clean this tank. I have room for two more pieces of paper. I didn't tear that one very nicely. Still some green up here. Sometimes when I'm doing hats and, and such in this bin, the, um, the paint will stick around the edges and I have to wipe it down. It doesn't seem, I had a little bit of that green right over here. All right. So, okay, we're going to 
Ugh, I don't know what colors to use. Let's see, what do you think? I forgot yellow. No, there was yellow in it. Let me go peek. Now you have me wondering. Did I forget yellow? Oh no, there's yellow. Whew. Wouldn't surprise me to forget yellow. So I think on this project, we're going to use a light blue, a light, a lavender, and a light gray. I am going to start with a base of white. No, no worries, Eva. That wouldn't surprise me if I did that at all. Okay. Not at one little bit. So now I'm using my other paint brand. Let's see if we have what kind of luck we have with this tonight. Okay, and I think we'll do the purple, then the gray, and then the blue. Oh, did you see that? Can you see that in the photo or in the on the screen? I don't think you can. There's tiny little dots. I, there, a bubble popped on the end of this, and it just kind of popped all over. Made tiny little dots on the white. Now look at that, that blue doesn't, doesn't spread as much. And every day is different. You'll have a, a paint that just behaves differently for no apparent reason. They're just different every single day. That's what's kind of fun and challenging about marbling. So I want, oh, what do I want to do? We're going to do oh, this is so fun. All right, so now let me show you the next one we're doing. This is our next project, stemless wine glasses. And I'm gonna try to do them one at a time so I can hold a paper towel under it as I take them to their spots. 
and I put the um, tape on because that's where there's going to be an edge because then I'll remove that once it's dry and then I have to epoxy it down below that so it doesn't come off on these. I can spray seal them also but the epoxy is you know food safe so Very subtle, very quiet. That gray is going to show beautifully. I set them down very, very carefully so I don't disturb the design very much on the bottom of the glass. Very, very uh, subtle color on this one. I think once they dry and once they get or are sealed, they'll look really pretty. Okay. It's my attempt at being a little more subtle. Instead of wild, personally, I like wild. I like the subtle ones too. It's just, uh, I think they show up better when they're more vivid. But we'll see how these turn out. If I don't like it, I can wash it off. One more time. That's so fun. I remember trying glass for the first time. I struggled and struggled, and when I finally got it, oh, I was so excited. All right, let me get a paper towel. The rest of this paint out of here. papers and then we'll be done for tonight. So what I want to do next, red, white, and pink. We're going to try red tonight. See if red likes us tonight. Oh, uh, this is kind of, this isn't the red one. This is the kind of a pinky red. So we're doing pink and pink, pink, white, and pink. See these little dots here? Those are all little ones that traveled off a little drop of paint. I'll have to look back there and see where my red is. My true red. I like to use red first because it has to get pushed so it looks red. So if I put red in now, it would probably still look pink. Here it is. Here it is. Let's look. It doesn't hurt to try, I guess. I have a feeling I'm going to like this one. I've liked them all, though. What am I saying? Okay, let me take a look at what we've done here. 
So we've done one set freestyle, one set, set combed. Should I freestyle or comb this one? This would have been pretty on those cuffs. Yes, love vibrant colors. Thank you, Shelly. Freestyle or comb? We have to do one more tank of this as well, but they have to match, so. Comb? Anybody else have a thought? Freestyle? We have one of each. Who's going to break the tie? Oh, there it is. Freestyle. All right. Here we go. All right, let's see how this is coming out today. For the project, this project with paper, I need like 150 sheets. I have a bunch already, but so we'll be doing lots of paper. Okay, there's sheet number one. That's pretty. Not a lot of contrast because they're all based in that same red. it is rinsed it looks like the red is holding nicely Clean this and do the last sheet. Oh, my bathroom is so pretty. So colorful. Now this will probably be the last time I use this water. And this is like the third or fourth time I think I've used it. I try to use it as much um, it would work. It's just, um, those are called ghost prints when you print whatever's left over. Because when you take the first sheet out, the rest of the paint starts moving in to fill the void. And I could come back and swirl it and use it, but it would not be as vibrant as the other colors are. Because I took some of the color out and there's not... Um, there's not as much surface tension. Bubble. All right, let's start again. Now, I hate mixing water. I just wish I had somebody that would mix the water for me and uh, Let's see, did I put white or pink left? I have tried a ghost print before and I'm just not happy with it. I like the nice vibrant colors. I don't like the mess that it leaves right where you take the uh, other project out. 
if it was a smaller one and you could do it on the side that wouldn't be too much or too too bad but when you're doing the whole surface again I just don't like it it's a me thing everybody has their own feelings about things like that and that's just fine. Now a little bit of the red. Oops. Which one's the red? This one. They're all so similar because they're all based off of this red. Okay, now we'll do freestyle again. And if I recall, I started in the corner. Now we'll come back and make some swirlies. Kind of like that in, so I'll position the paper more toward that side. You always want to make sure when you're putting the page down, you kind of start, oh, that's what I was going to show you. Okay, we'll do one more set. One more set. Um, but you wanna make sure you put the paper down in the center first and try not to get any bubbles under there. Sheet number two. So we'll do one more. I have enough for just one more set. in there real quick. I'm not on here all night again. Get this cleaned up. So I will need one more color uh, combo. See, red likes to hug to the side of this. Purple, orange, and yellow. Ooh, brown, teal, and white. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's do brown and teal. I was thinking about that today and I had forgotten. Instead of white, I'm going to use an off-white. I always like to use an off-white when I do brown. Okay, 
Let's see if we can, let's see if I can do it now that I've made a big fuss about this. This is what I was talking about on Thursday. And you know, I always go, well, except for the white or the off-white, I always go dark to light, except for the base color. Gosh, that'd be pretty with green too, wouldn't it? This is just the best teal. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay. I am going to comb it because you know I have to. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. Okay. So normally I place it down from the center, nice and flat, and then I let it go. But this one, it's called a Spanish wave. You never quite know what you're gonna get out of it, but I have to keep moving it the whole time I'm putting it down. Can you see the ridges in there? Oh, oh well. I just dropped my towel in the rinse bucket. Can you see the, um, the lines in here, now those are supposed to be there. And look at down here, that really wavy one right there. That is a good one right there. There's this whole spot here I didn't get much. So here it is rinsed. Not one of my better ones. I'll have to see if I like this and this area looks great. The rest of it, I don't know. I maybe was going too fast. So the next one will go a little bit slower and see how that turns out. So that, whoops, it is, it is, that, it's, uh, yeah, it, that's exactly what it's supposed to look like, ripples. 
like a flag, you know, rippling in the wind. So I don't have to worry about getting every little bit of this one out since I'm going to use the same colors again. But I do have bubbles. Okay, now let's try. It'd be a little bit easier if I wasn't reaching down into this uh, tub and I had a little bit more room to move, but we'll try again. It's just such a rich color. What did I do? Oh, yeah. Forgot what I did. All right, let's see how this one turns out. I'll go a little bit slower. How'd I do this time? Well, it kind of looks very similar to the other one. I have had some that turned out amazing. So let me rinse it. I think next time I'll try this, I'll eat be doing paper in the um, bandana bin, so I have a little bit more room. There it is. I don't I don't mind this one. I like this one better than the last one. That's for sure. All right, guys, here we go. I'm gonna move the camera. Hello there. Thank you, Shelly. Thank you, Eva. Okay, guys, that's all I have for tonight, and I hope you enjoyed it. I'll be sure to post photos of the dry pieces. The stemware or the glassware is going to take a few days to dry completely, so don't be looking for it very soon. I'll do my normal little video of everything on the drying rack, and uh, we'll go from there. But I thank each and every one of you for being here tonight, even those who couldn't stay for the whole thing. I certainly appreciate each and every one of you. Have a wonderful week. Be sure to share a smile with someone.
doesn't cost you anything and it might just make their day. So you take care everyone and I will see you uh, next Monday unless I sneak in earlier. So take care. Bye bye. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you, Shelly. You have a great night as well.